All right, gang. Welcome back to our 200 horsepower challenge on Calm Lands. As you can see, uh, it's December and it is snowing. So, it does not bode well for us. We have three fields that are ready to harvest today. I was hoping to do a lot of harvesting. I was hoping it was going to be a nice super long episode. It's December. We're going to run out of daylight very quickly. And we can't harvest while it's snowing or we're going to lose profit. So we're not doing that. Hopefully it ends soon. According to the weather, it says it should be ending between 12 and, and 1. Yeah, between 12 and 1. So I'm hoping here the next 20, 30 minutes it'll it'll finish and uh, we can start harvesting. And hopefully we can get a har field or maybe two harvested. Now, this morning... Off camera, I went ahead and finished mowing the rest of our new field. So we have that we can do in the meantime while we're waiting on the snow to end. Uh, so we're going to bring back our new um, forge wagon. You saw you saw us just sell the other one. So we're going to bring back the... Oh, the black car. There it was again. Oh, 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 oh. oh one of these days I'm going to have a big piece of equipment that I can just run over with. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna do the actual loading of all the uh, grass into our, our forage wagon We'll put it into our, our silage fermenter uh, and try to make a little money in the meantime Hopefully we make enough off of that and maybe if we can harvest one or two fields today Where we can upgrade our harvester, so I have found the Perfect harvester for this series. I don't think we're gonna get a better one than this it has a 200 horsepower, well, you can do less than that, but it has up to 200 horsepower, which is right within the realms of what this challenge is. It's 200 horsepower or less, and it has the ability to do multiple attachments to it, like sunflowers, corn, uh, and then your standard cereal crops. But it has the ability to hold a m massive, massive width. So right now, I think our width is, excuse me, gang, last night, right now, I think our width is like five. Five meters. It has a couple of them. They're expensive, but a couple of them have the ability to do a width of 15 meters, I think. So we're tripling our width, uh, which will make short work of these bigger, these smaller fields, excuse me. And it also means that we could potentially turn some of these other fields into bigger fields because we have that ability now. Um, it's, it's expensive. It's going to cost us almost 200 grand, but we have 71,000 right now. So I'm hoping. The silage will give us another 70-ish thousand, or just 140, and then maybe whenever it's time for us to sell the crop. I don't know if it'll be today or not, but whenever it's time for us to sell the crop, or we turn it into a product, or whatever it is we do with it, uh, we can hopefully get that harvester, and that'll set us up for success moving forward. Uh, so this field over here is ready to harvest. It's wheat. So we will uh, put that into... Uh, uh, we will drop that so we can pick it up with this as well, and we can put the straw into the uh, methane plant. This one probably will be ready next month. Uh, the smaller field that I want to turn into carrots right there is ready to harvest, so that's probably the first one we harvest. And then our sorghum field we planted very recently, the big massive field, our biggest field yet, is also ready to harvest. So, we got a lot of things to do today. And not a whole lot of time before it gets dark. As I mentioned, I don't really like doing videos uh, for you guys at nighttime. It's really hard to see. Uh, especially with the console. I think it's even darker than, than the main game on uh, on PC. So, Because of all those reasons, I'm attempting, I'm going to attempt to still do it. Uh, every once in a while, obviously, that's not going to be able to be able to be uh, accomplished but I'm going to attempt to try to not ever do any videos at night uh, we have already previously done one but it was very brief I did basically a jump cut of it for that specific reason so a lot of grass here we're gonna get but this this uh, this loading wagon this forge wagon here is significantly larger than what we were just using so I expect us to be able to get a lot of this before we have to go and take it and drop it off and compared to what we were doing before. Before, what we were doing before, one of these rows here, one of the double rows, you know, this one I'm, I'm mowing right now, or mowing, I'm loading right now, is it a double row, but one of the ones to the left here that are double rows, where I mowed on one side and dropped it there, and I mowed the other side and dropped it near or around the same exact spot. Those, we were only filling up not even a full pass of it. We were about three-fourths of the way through, and we would have to go and, and drop off the grass we picked up. And so, uh, I... 
this will not be an issue any longer. We should be able to do at least two of them before we have to drop it off. Probably three. Because we're only at 30% right now and we're probably halfway through this one. And we already picked up two others. So, definitely will be much faster for us. And, uh, save us a lot of money and wear and tear on the equipment in the long run. Oh, I missed a portion there. I'll have to come back and get that in a minute. But I tried to get all the way up to the edges here as well. Um, on the part of the grass that we hadn't touched yet, this side of the, the field. I tried to get all the way to the edges of the other crops without, you know, destroying any of the crop. I think I did a pretty good job. So we should get a, a lot of money out of this silage. A lot. We will probably need to drop a little bit off at uh, both the sheep pens. Uh, I started thinking a little bit more about the sheep. Uh, and also, I started thinking a little bit more about productions. I think we're going to modify my idea that I had a couple of episodes ago. So a couple of episodes ago, I think I mentioned that my idea was to kind of run some productions on this path right here that you're seeing there that I've created, that dirt path. I think the land of that new plot of land we just bought is much flatter. So we may put it on the main road out here. I think it makes more sense even to put it on the main road. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Uh, it does mean that this field will continue to be in awkward shape, but we'll see. No guarantee on that, but that's potentially what we're going to do. I think this field will be close to being ready here in probably two episodes. So... Kind of want to try to get these fields on a... It's, it's hard to do, but I kind of want to get them on like a... A staggered offset where we always have something to harvest almost every episode. Like, that's the ideal situation for us, I think. Uh, I don't know how long it takes to, to grow carrots. I, I have absolutely no clue. Like I said, I've never even done carrots. So this will be... I mean, I'll run some tests off camera like, as I normally do. You know, I try to run a... It's not a script, I guess. It's not the correct word. But I try to run... A little bit of a, you know, I have my ideas already planned and I've kind of tested them out and they seem to work on, you know, a different map. I just try to make sure that I'm not wasting your time or mine. Um, and if I don't, then I obviously I go off camera and say I'll be right back. But, all right, filled her up. Let's go drop this off. 35,000 liters. Man, <laughs> this is going to be, this is going to be a payday. Because there's still tons of grass to pick up. Tons of grass to pick up. This, the grass by them, by itself, may pay for the harvester that I want. It, it truly might. We got to keep an eye on all these pallets too. So like the honey and, and everything else. Um, I, I probably should stop doing the auto sell in the, in the barn there. And wait until, you know, December, January to sell them. Because that is the best time to sell all the pallet stuff. So I probably should do that, but... We'll see if we uh, if we remember to do it if we have time later on. So I'll tell you what, gang, we'll go ahead and get this done. Um, I won't throw uh, a time lapse in on this one because I do expect the snow to stay. It's already stopping. You can see it's slowing down. So I do expect to start harvesting here soon, and I'd like to do uh, a couple time lapses on the harvesting portion of it. So and we did a lot of grass work in the last episode. So based off of that, I I'm not going to do a a time lapse here. Uh, I don't want to be redundant every single episode and do the same thing. So I'll do a jump cut here. Uh, look, look, the snow stopped. The snow has stopped. We can actually start harvesting now. But what I'll do is I'll get one more load in this, and then we'll leave the rest of it over there, and we can pick it up later, uh, whether it's off camera or on, and uh, we'll get harvested. I just want to uh, make sure that that little December snowflake there on the, on the top right corner. I think it should go away when it becomes just cloudy, but maybe it's just, maybe, no, maybe not. No, it's the one to the left, isn't it? The one on the cloud to the left, that's what it is. So we're already there, so never mind. Ignore everything I just said. I'll get this done. I'll be back with you guys. When we're back, I'll show you kind of what we've got uh, as far as grass and, and, and silage in both of those. And then uh, we'll begin our harvest. Start with that small field over there so we can... Uh, Start to get ready to prep to put some carrots in. All right, gang. So we've got uh, a bunch of silage in here. It's getting ready to flip over actually to one. So some of this is going to flip uh, to here. 
it will not be able to process everything that we're dropping in here in time, so it's going to be two different cell por portions, but uh, looks like we're going to flip over around the same amount as we did last time, about 35, maybe we might get to 38, actually, before it flips to 1 o'clock. We'll see. Yep, almost 38. There's still a bunch of grass we're dropping in there, though. We have a bunch more grass to pick up over there. Honestly, it's going to take a while. All right, so we'll just turn that off for now. Let's go ahead and jump on the harvester, and let's get going, gang. I'm excited, man. We're actually going to finally be able to touch up that area over there as well. We're going to be able to touch up a lot of things here by getting this done. Touch up the entrance, and touch up all kinds of stuff because of this. So we're definitely going to shrink the field a little bit. It won't be that big of a shrink, but we are going to shrink it a little bit, but we will expand it kind of over there as well. Um, we got a lot of things to do. We also have to buy the drill for the carrots, and eventually we're going to have to buy the harvester for it. I know it's going to take a while. I know it's going to be painful like it is potatoes. I'm pretty sure it's kind of a very similar uh, piece of equipment that pulls the carrots out of the ground as a, as a potato. At least I would think it would be. Uh, and, and potatoes are... They're, they're kind of painful. <laughs> they're kind of painful to do. It, it takes a long, long time. And this one, I think, is going to be even worse because I don't think there's a whole lot of mod hub items for carrots or turnips or, or, or anything like that yet. Um, but turnips might have been in with may, the main game. I don't remember. But anyway, or maybe the first expansion. But regardless, you get what I mean. There's not a whole lot out there for them, unfortunately. So uh, it's going to be a long process, and it means that I'm going to have to probably be in the trailer and have a worker running... Uh, the harvesting equipment that pulls the carrots out of the ground because I don't think there's any kind of collection bin or, or you know anything like that in the actual extractor there could be but I if I remember correctly there wasn't um, so it's gonna be painful that's the reason why I'm going to do some of that root crop type of stuff here uh, I want to get a planter very soon as well I would ideally like to make that big massive field we have there uh, sunflowers or corn, either one. I, I'm impartial there. Um, but I would like to do that as well. But that's another, you know, cost, right? We've got to buy another header for that. Uh, I want to, you know, just start expanding things a little bit. And I want to kind of have specific fields always be whatever that is, right? I don't want to always change it. I want to have that specific. So, uh, you know, always have a, a soybean field, always have a sorghum field, always have a wheat field, always have a corn field, always have a carrot field, which I, I kind of imagine this being a carrot field. Maybe beets sometimes, but you get what I mean. Like, ideally that's what I would like to do. Uh, and then we can try, even though I have a silo now, we can still try to, you know, time it properly, right? Where whenever it's the best time to sell it, we can try to time it. It's not going to be perfect, because some things grow faster than others, but um, that's kind of the, the goal I'm envisioning, at least. If that makes sense. So I tell you what, gang. We'll go ahead and throw a time lapse in here. Eventually, when this gets close to full, I'm going to have to uh, put it on a worker, at least temporarily, so we can uh, fill up um, our trailer. Uh, while we're doing that, let's do a quick save here, and then uh, let's see. Canola. When is the best? What is the what's the canola price? I should say, December is when it's best. So we timed that perfectly. We timed that perfectly, and it's dropping. So we need to get this harvested as fast as possible. Three eight four zero. Um, the cooperative is still the best. Three eight seven nine. Market stall is three six. So it's a pretty severe drop off there. So I think we will take it to co op. Like I said, we have that there for our ease. Um, of convenience, and if we have something, you know, where we just need to make a quick few bucks, we don't have to drive it all the way up there if it's one or two things, like pallet of honey, example. 
uh, or something like that. But we will always take it to wherever the best price is, as long as it makes sense uh, as far as the damage, uh, gas, and, and all that stuff on the equipment that we're utilizing to get it up there. If it's only a couple, you know, 50 bucks or 100 bucks, we'll probably just sell it at the market stall. It's convenient, faster. Won't take us as long to get there and back. And I still am going to do it. I'm going to make another hydroponic greenhouse right there. Kind of where our water tanks are right now and that, and that other um, silo is. Which we're going to move that silo. I haven't exactly decided where we're going to move this silo yet. And we won't put that greenhouse down today. Uh, but we will be adding another greenhouse at some point. I probably will put it on lettuce. I have two lettuce running and one tomatoes. Lettuce doesn't... They don't make as much lettuce as tomatoes. Uh, so to continue to do our mixed salad type of idea, we're going to do that. And actually, while we're doing it, I'm just going to go turn them off. I'm going to put them on, not on auto sell anymore. I don't, I don't want them to do that. So do, 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 down here, here we go. And I'm actually going to turn off French fries too. That might sound crazy. I know I don't have french fries on, do I? I? What did I? What did I make? Soy drink. That's what it was. Soy drink. Storing. We want that storing, and we want mixed salad storing. We're gonna leave them in the pallets. I'm just gonna carry them to the market stall. And I'm gonna keep them there until they're the best time to sell them, because I think we're gonna have enough money incoming now with this grass and uh, with these fields. They're all. We're gonna. There's not gonna be very many months where we don't have something to harvest moving forward. At least we shouldn't. So because of that reason, I'm going to actually not have them selling automatically. Because um, that's just going to make it... Uh, we're going to get a better price for them as we continue on here by doing that. By just waiting until they're the best time to sell them. I know the price doesn't really fluctuate that much, but... Every every single dollar we can save and, and make more of, we're going to do it. We were just doing that based out of the fact that we weren't really making any money, and we needed some every every month. So I'll put this on a time lapse now. We've gone around twice, the head run twice. We'll put it on a time lapse, and uh, we'll get this done, gang.
All right, gang, you see you flipped over, and uh, we're at 107,319 from that silage, and we have a ton more grass to pick up over there. So uh, I think that plus the canola that we're going to get out of this field, I think we're, we're going to get there. Uh, I did drop a little bit of canola into our barn there to create into canola oil uh, on purpose, but I think uh, I don't think it's really going to harm us that much. I think we're still going to get Eh, about 75% of this trailer. We weren't going to get a full trailer no matter what anyway. Uh, I did do a little bit of touch-up here as well. Um, this is just kind of like a, a line that I'm imagining about how far this might come out. So I, I'm just trying to kind of eyeball. I probably need to go like this maybe. How much room I'm going to need to build the path to connect up to here. Uh, and then like I said, we're going to expand this out just a little bit here. Make it a very weird, awkward, awkward circle shape here at the end. Just to give this field a little bit more of its crop back we're going to take. I may take even a little bit more back this way as well. I haven't really decided yet. I may kind of, since this kind of, you know, ends here, this fence in here, because I have built, you know, grass out here as well to try to mimic where the fence is going to be. Since it's going to end there, I may actually just mark this out to here, right, and keep that. It's kind of symmetrical, sort of. It's not going to be perfect. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do it now. Because the more I think about it, that's what I want to do. Not perfect by any means whatsoever, but it'll work. It'll work. All right, so we wanted about here-ish, give or take. That works for me. Just connect it like that for now. It definitely needs to be touched up and fixed, but it'll work. For the meantime, it'll work. Yes, I know we're wasting money and spending money against what I was saying to buy a new harvester, but we had to do this anyway. We have to. It's not really the easiest to get around this corner as it is, so we needed to try to touch it up a little bit if we can. And I may even take some of this land here and pull it out and then kind of build like a rock wall right here. I probably will, but I would do that off camera because that's going to take a little trial and error on that one. Not something you guys really need to watch. Right, we're almost done here. Two more passes probably, maybe three for a little tiny portion, but we're nearly done. think what I'm actually going to do uh, is we're I still kind of want to harvest that field over there and I may throw this on there to harvest it but as a worker doing it rather than me uh, I want to go and get the carrot stuff I just want to get all of that paid for and taken care of which means we may have to delay getting the harvester that I was talking about a little bit longer than I wanted to but um, Carrots was... I, I've been talking about carrots for many, many, many episodes now. I haven't really been talking about upgrading the harvester until today. So, uh, we need to get the carrots in the ground here, which means I need to get all the equipment to do so. Certainly could wait on the harvester, but I at least need to get the drill. Uh, it's going to take a while to drill. I think it's a very small drill. I mean, very, very small. So, I'm glad that we're doing this smaller field. But it also means that I need to really figure out what I'm doing with that, si that silo there and... All of the greenhouses as well. I kind of need to map it out. Whether it's just doing a couple spray paint marks. So I kind of know where it's going to be at. Or if I just literally go ahead and place it. Even though that goes against what I just said earlier too. Um, it's just a lot of things to do. And a lot of things to figure out. So I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go about it. I think what I'm going to do is go against my initial comments early on. And I'm going to go ahead and place the hydroponic greenhouse down now. Just so I see how far it comes out. Work on the land a little bit. Um, you know, paint part of the, the, the road or the, the yard. You know, expansion that we're going to do. Move move that silo. Get all of that sorted out. And then uh, that way I know really where I can, I can expand the field at and where I can plant the carrots at. So let me dump this in here real quick. And we'll go up and we'll sell all of this. I'll probably put the uh, harvester on a worker over there on that field. 
don't think we need to do another time lapse of, of harvesting that field. Uh, we may do it later on, but not right now. We just did one, so that'd be a little monotonous. Um, so uh, we're going to go ahead and, and get a worker on this. But I, before I put it on a worker, I will run around the edge of this headland with the fence here. I don't want it getting confused by the fence. I'm going to leave the wheat field for now. I was going to try to do the wheat field too today, but we're going to wait for the wheat field tomorrow. This is going to be a very long episode, I can already tell. Um, so we'll wait for the wheat field until tomorrow. That'll also give us more money we can get back um, from the straw. And then we've got all the grass over there we can pick up as well. Maybe in the next episode. We'll see. We'll see where things go. But that field will wait, because then that field and that field will probably be ready at the same time, so we can just harvest both of them while we're over there. I think I'm going to remove a few of those segments of fence there at the end, too. I think it's just a little bit too long. It doesn't need to be that long. Probably two, not many. All right, let's, uh, let's move this a little bit further this way. Let's throw it on a worker. Let him do his thing. We'll jump in our tractor. We'll go take this up and sell what we got, since it is the best time to sell it right now anyway. And when we come back... Um, We'll probably, well, actually, I'll probably bring another tractor up there after we sell it. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. No matter which way you do it, you're still going to have to take this tractor back. But we'll buy the, um, actually, let's just, let's just look right now while we're here. How much is it for the planter? Uh, do do The planter, it only has a three meter width, which is going to take forever. 12,500. That's not exp that's not bad at all. Uh, th here we go. This is what I was talking about. 0.8 meters of a width to pick them up. It's going to take forever, which is the main reason why I was saying that, right? So let's let's take this up. Let's sell it. Let's come back here. We'll put the greenhouse down. We'll get rid of that silo for now. We'll put it down again, whether it's in this episode or later. I don't know if we'll need it. We'll probably will need it in this episode. We'll put it down uh, elsewhere in a better location for it. We'll figure out what kind of land we're dealing with here for the carrots. It's much going to be bigger than I was expecting, I think. Uh, and it's going to take forever to do. So let's get all of that sorted out. And then we'll buy everything. We'll go up, pick it up, bring it back down here. I'll see you guys when we're at up there at the shop to sell this. All right. We are pulling back up here to the shop. Let's get this sold. I'm expecting to be around twenty-five, twenty-seven thousand dollars something like that. Um, 130000 probably, give or take. Uh, a few thousand will be our total. Counting the 106 we currently have in the bank. That's kind of what I'm expecting to see. Um, but we'll, we'll find out here <laughs> real quick. Um... And then I will go off camera. I will put down the uh, greenhouse and uh, kind of work the land a little bit up there. Try to make it as best we can. And then uh, we'll be back to buy the carrot stuff. I was way wrong. We got $32,238 out of that. I was thinking twenty five to twenty seven. Even better. Even better. That is enough for us to buy the harvester that I want. Um, how much is our current harvester worth? 12,000. How much is the header worth? 3,000. So, uh, probably 15 ish out of the harvester, and then probably five out of the header. Uh, so, 20,000, which would put us 180,000. That could pretty much get us the harvester we want right there by itself, gang. But that uh, will have to come later. We've got to get the carrots placed and planted. And uh, that's going to cost us, I don't know, about 15, 20,000 dollars to do that. So, uh, and then we've got a $10,000 for the greenhouse, plus another, I don't remember how much it was for that silo, and then uh, the painting of the, the yard a little bit. So we've probably got, you know, 25, 30 grand of, of upgrades to do here in the back of the yard just to get the carrot section ready to go. So I will do that off camera now, and I'll be back with you guys when we're done. 
All right, gang, we're back. I went a little haywire with it. We've got uh, four greenhouses now. <laughs> I decided to uh, put another one down. Just thought we would probably do it eventually, so we might as well just go ahead and do it now. Uh, we are running out of daylight. You can see it. It's December. You know the daylight goes out quick, so we've got to uh, try to get this done as fast as possible. I don't think we're going to be able to get the carrots drilled in time, just because that is not a very big width to drill them, so... I don't see any way that we able, we're able to complete this today, but we will attempt to try to get the carrots drilled today. Uh, the problem there is going to be everything else we have to do, right? We've got to probably lime the field. We've got to spray the field. There's a lot of things we have to do in this field, and uh, I'm not sure we're going to have enough time to do it. I'm hoping, but I just, I just, I don't think it's going to happen. The sun is already starting to go down, so. Uh, we're gonna have a hard time with it, let's put it that way. I'm gonna go ahead and create this field. It's a weird looking field, I understand that, but uh, a lot of the fields I've made so far are weird looking fields, so let's just keep the status quo of making them look weird. That's good enough for me. Let's just touch up that little section there, and then uh, we will go buy the little tiny drill for carrots. I wish it was bigger. Uh, I did look out in ModHub. There is nothing out there that I can find. I'm sure there's something for PC players. Um, but unfortunately, I don't have that luxury. So it's going to take me a long time to drill this. It's going to take a long time to harvest it. So I hope it's worth it. I don't even know if it will be or not, but I hope it will be. Uh, I don't think we can hold or keep carrots in uh, the current silo we have. So that means we're going to have to either just throw them straight into a production or sell them or buy a storage for them. I don't think the storage for them is very cheap, so that's another problem. A lot of things to, to do here. Uh, that I do have the harvester going in that field over there still, um, doing a pretty decent job. I don't think we'll get that finished today either, just based off the size of the harvester we have. But uh, we'll see what happens. I'm going to run with the lights on, and we're going to go as long as we can before it's pitch black dark. I, I, like I said, I don't like doing it in pitch black dark. Uh, I don't like doing the recording in Pitch Black Dark. I just think it's really hard to see and almost pointless. Um, so we are racing against the clock right now. I have dropped the time down to 0.5, as you can see. I just want to get some more things accomplished. Uh, the time is going much faster than I was expecting it to. So uh, I know that's going against everything I have said, but we, we got to get something done. We got to get something done. So we need to buy... Or drill. We can wait on the rest until later. What is it? Solid seeds. Uh, there's a weight. I don't think I need the weight currently, but we do need this. Three meters. This is going to take an eternity. It only holds 16 liters. Oh, it's not a direct drill either. Maybe we should wait on the carrots. One more, one more pass. Perhaps we should wait. Um... Yeah. Gang, I, I know I'm, I've changed a lot of things that we said we were going to do in this episode. We're going to wait on the carrots. We'd have to cultivate the whole field. By the time we cultivated this entire field, uh, it would be dark. So, because um, the cultivation, I pretty much have to do, and it is a slow process. So, based off of all of those factors, uh, we are going to unfortunately have to wait to do the carrots once more. I promise we will do them. I said we would. I promise we will. It just unfortunately will not be uh, today. So we're just going to leave this here for right now. We may have to make that track even bigger, actually. Um, just for turnaround purposes, we may have to make it more round. But uh, for now, we're going to roll it this way. Uh, the other issue... We... <laughs> We don't have any more room for our one little sheep pen with, with the wool, so we're going to have to move the wool. Things are really going against everything I wanted to do in this episode so far. They really are. So the only option we have here, I'm not going to worry about the greenhouses right now, I can, I can do that off camera, uh, is to move the wool out. So we're going to at least move one pallet out of there. Ideally, I would get both of them. I don't know if I can do it without a weight on there. Uh, full grain tank. Hold on a second. Let me, uh, he is missing a little bit back there. 
but we'll, we can touch that up. Oh, of course he's on that. He's going that angle. Of course he is. We're getting a really good yield out of this. I can tell you that. He really hasn't made it that far. We almost have a full trailer load. So, really, really good yield out of this out of this field here. But we're not going to sell the sorghum until next month. Next month is the best time to sell it. It's not bad pricing right now. It's really not. But uh, we're going to wait until the next month. And like I said, I don't think we're even going to finish this field this month anyway. Look at all those grass roast still. Right, let's move this sheep because we can't make any wool right now if we don't move them. Well, that went well. Everything is going great today. gonna put it right here for right now it's not really ideal but we're just gonna stick it there for right now the way at least we can make some sheep wool make some wool from the sheep in there uh, I keep thinking about these sheep and now that we have this bigger one I do think I'm going to get rid of them potentially and uh, utilize this land for something else probably chickens I don't know if I have the ability to do ducks or not I don't think I do I would love to do ducks I just don't think I have the ability to do it um, So, probably chickens, because of that reason. Three thousand liters of wool. We could turn that into... Turn that into clothes. Maybe we do what I was talking about before. I went ahead and flipped this as well, back to all that. I think I showed you guys that, but just reiterating it in case I, for some reason, didn't. Um, mm, man, I really want to put carrots in today. That's, that's really messed up my whole plan. This is going off of my script that I wanted to do. Um, hmm. Let me see what it looks like if we put uh, a little Grammel's, whatever it was called, Grammel's knitwear in here. How flat is it over here? Pretty flat. Wanted to see where all the marks were. I mean, it's not perfectly flat. I think it's actually more flat down here. Which is further away from where we want to put it, but... Let's see how bad it is. It's 100%. We're going to have to go dump that too. Does mean we have to carry it down here more as well. It's actually not that bad. It did a little bit over here on this this section here, but we can we can touch that up. This this isn't that bad. We'll go with it. This is fine. This is fine. So we can move all the wool there when it's time to move it. We don't have to move it right now, but whenever it's time, we can do it. And since we're kind of shifting gears here, gang, with uh not putting the carrots in just because we don't really have the daylight to do it and I wanted, I wanted to get something in that that crop field over there what we may end up doing is leave it be for now I know that sounds weird but if we leave it be and we continue harvesting this big massive field here and we pick up all of the grass over here we should get enough silage where we can upgrade the harvester which will then help us with those two fields over there, and if there's anything left in this field when they're ready to go. 
I think that's the pivot we're going to make here, gang. A little weird, I know, but I think that's what we're going to do. Now, as far as those sheep go, the things we can do here is we can move those sheep over to this bigger pasture over here. Uh, which maybe we should do. I don't know how much it costs for a trailer to move animals. Because we can't just transfer them over there. We have to actually move them. Thirty-five. Oh, that's that's way too much. That's chickens. We can't do that. I can't spend thirty-five grand just to move sheep. I mean, twenty-two, twenty-five. I still can't. I mean, I would buy that and I would lose seven thousand immediately. I, I guess we'll leave them be for now. I just, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like the way that this episode is turning around on me and going against everything I wanted to do. I guess this happens, right? Everybody has run through this issue before in this game, so. So yeah, let's do that. Let's, um, we'll leave this, this be for now. We can cultivate it, uh, in the next episode, and we can put some carrots down in there. And then I can just, you know, let the harvester do its thing over there, and hopefully all the silage we get now, we'll get a bigger harvester. And, uh make some more money for us. So we'll throw a quick time lapse in here, gang. We'll get this done, and uh, we'll see where we're at and uh, how much sunlight we still have when we're done.
quick, I moved the uh, the silo to here, gang. It let me put it right next to that, and uh, didn't really do a whole lot of harm to the ground, so I, I threw it there. I feel like it's a decent spot for it. So, kind of out of the way, but still close to everything we needed to be at. So, I put it there. Um, I think once we get all this silage up, we'll be able to upgrade the harvester, and we'll probably do that in this episode. Uh, I don't think we're going to get this field done without doing that. Um, we do have a full... Uh, well, we had a full load of this, and I went and uh, dumped that off, as you saw. Uh, this is being extremely, extremely profitable for us by getting all this sorghum. It's, it's a ton. We may just make this field always sorghum because it is yielding very high for us right now. There's not too many left over there. We've got two, three, four, five, six of them, maybe. So, I mean, it's probably another... 150,000 liters. Uh, we're going to make a good amount of money. We're going to be able to buy the harvester. Just going to try to get it back to zero as much as I could there, and then I can move this down here to the other end and try to try to jump over here and do this whenever time we're going to be uh, unloading the grass in there because it takes a while to do just think it's the smartest play but we'll go back into it gang we'll get this done I just wanted to mention that that silo because I forgot to bring it up
Okay, we've nearly completed picking up all the grass out of here, and, uh, you noticed it. I- I don't know what I was thinking. I'm a dummy. I'm not creating new fields. I'm just cultivating the field. I can put the cultivation on a worker. So that's what I did. It, it's not going to get done probably today in time before it gets dark out. That's certainly not enough time for us to actually start planting carrots because it's going to take forever uh, with a three meter three meter working width. Uh, but hopefully, and at least it will be cultivated uh, for the next episode when we do plant some carrots. And uh, hopefully, uh, I can tonight I can go through here and I can do some lime on it, um, and I can roll it. If I can do all of that before we drill tomorrow, I mean, this is going to be a great yielding uh, field for us. So, hopefully, that's the case. But I guess we'll have to find out soon enough. He's doing an okay job. We're going to have to go around the head like we did. I didn't do it this time just because we were doing some other things. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how he does. Grass is almost done here. We'll go back and pick up the rest of it. Uh, we should get a decent payday out of this. There's 55,000 liters of silage still left, and it already has 10,000 liters of, of electric charge. So, I'm expecting a, a lot of money here, and uh, I'm hoping, after we get all of the silage taken care of, that we're going to be able to buy both the harvester and the drill for the carrots. We may not be able to buy the harvester for the carrots, or the whatever the equipment is that pulls the carrots out of the ground, but uh, if we can buy all of those in preparation for the next episode, we're going to be in really, really good shape. Uh, we also put down Granny's house or whatever you want to call it down here. Um, we will add more stuff down here. I've, I've decided to put all my placeables down here. Like I said at the beginning of the episode, I've just kind of changed my mind. I think it's just better out here. Um, so we will... Well, going way too far and way too fast there, Z. So we will put the remaining... Well, we don't have any place besides the greenhouse and stuff. But anything that we're going to sell will all be kind of here on the main strip. We already have our market stall down there. So I just think, in the grand scheme of things, it makes more sense. And it would make more sense in real life that you would have that on the main road. I'm not planning to, and I haven't done so yet, uh, modifying any of the main roads that the actual map has. So, in my eyes... That's the main road, and, and we're putting that there where more people can see it. I did bump the time back up to uh, 3 as well. Um, we're we're, we're going to run out of daylight here by the next hour. Let me f go ahead and unload all the uh, sorghum into here. We are, we've got a lot of sorghum, gang. And I was looking at the barn. I don't know if you saw me or not. I'm sure you did, uh, if you're still watching at this point at least. I... Uh, looked at the farm, uh, the, the red barn production there, there is nothing um, for sorghum in that barn. I think there are some things you can utilize sorghum for, for a production. We may potentially do in the future. Uh, won't be today, though. We're just going to save it and sell it next month when it's best, uh, which will help fund uh, the carrot harvester. So, But it's getting very, very dark, and I'm sure it's probably hard for you guys to see, but... Um, going against everything I don't want to do, but we're going to push it until the sun goes almost completely down. Until it's nearly impossible to see, and which we're almost there, so... Then we'll probably speed time up a little bit once that occurs, just to see what kind of price we get from all this silage that we're going to sell, uh, well, the silage that's going to be turned into electric charge and, and methane and digestate. So, um, yeah. it should be a lot. It really should. We've got a lot of grass where we've put in there. Not all of it was turned into silage when it uh, got flipped into there, so uh, I'm expecting at least $90,000, if not more. I've got to do a little touch-up on the, on the land there, the ground there. I will do that off-camera. I will also do some more touch-ups on the yard as far as land uh, modification. And uh, I'm probably going to modify that track up there, too. We'll have it come down here and connect to the main road so we have two entrances. So we don't have to just, when we make that into a field, we don't have to have so much driving around. We'll have more access to the main road. I just think that makes sense. So we're going to do that. Um, we'll probably start 
the uh, productions as well, the, the, the greenhouse, the other hydroponic greenhouses, because we have four of them now, it's going to really it's going to really provide a lot of stuff. Uh, probably could have more than one production going at the same time because this barn one is is a slow um, process, right? It doesn't make a whole lot. It's pretty slow at it. So, there's plenty of tomatoes in there, so I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and flip one of these back to lettuce now. I'm going to actually flip both of them back to lettuce. Um, and then the new ones can be tomatoes, so we can just modify one as need beef to lettuce or tomatoes. Yeah, I can't even distribute any more tomatoes. The tomatoes are maxed out over there. So it's a good thing we moved it to lettuce. Same thing with this one. They can't even distribute anymore. They can't accept anymore. So we need to get some more placeables for this so we can, you know, produce more. Seems like a winner to me. So let's put this away. I don't think it's going to actually fit in that little carport next to it anymore, but we will put it in there for now until we figure out a better location for it or something better to go into there. As long as it... F it well, it might not even... Might be too tall. Uh, no, it'll fit. It'll fit. No, it won't. No, it won't. I lied to you. Yep, won't fit. All right, so it's gonna have to go over here. I'm just gonna put it on the outside for now. We will work on fixing all of this off camera. There's no reason for you guys to watch me sit there and back things in and out all all day. pick up the rest of this this field it, it's not too far off from being done but we have to touch it up a little bit we're gonna have to there's a, a lot of missed pieces here and there so while that's unloading we can take a look and see if there's anything we can do production wise for sorghum we make tomato juice. We can. We knew that already. We've already making that, kind of. Uh, this is the bunker stuff. Don't really need any of that. We already have that. What does this do? Uh, that straw. Old General Mill. Okay, that's just your typical cereal crops, basically, and, and sunflowers. I guess corn too. Most of your crops, I guess, can go in there. There you go. Potato production. Sorghum. I'll probably make pig food, I'm sure. With that. Fruits. We're already kind of making that. There's really no reason to have another one. I guess the only re the only reason you would have another one is if... Uh, you need to make the production go faster, which we kind of do. So I'll think about that. I just wanted to see what was out there. I'll think about that um, off camera for, for, you know, the next episode, but... Let's uh, let's take this. Let's go dump this. We'll come back here, get it set up for the harvester, and we'll jump in uh, the other tractors and get uh, lime and uh, rolling and all that stuff underway. A lot of changing on, on this this episode of what we were going to do, but I think in the in the end we we figured it out. We made it work out pretty well for us. What we got in here. That's a lot of sorghum. That's a lot of sorghum.
clip the apex perfectly. Right, leave that there for now. Go jump in this guy. Don't know if it can actually hold the lime. I, I don't feel like it can. I feel like this is going to be too light. I feel like that Fiat's the only one that really works. But we're going to give it a shot and we'll see what happens here. We'll see if it does a wheelie or not. So far, it has not. Well, looks like somebody was sending me a message. I'm sure they wanted to play a game of some sort. I can't do that right now. I'm in the middle. Something important. This is where it could get really bad. All right, 68%. We'll stick at 91. Looks like it's, it's, it's handling it. It's handling it better than the Fiat is. But I think any more than that, we're going to be doing it already just doing a wheelie when we back up like that. So it's pretty dark here, gang, so this is probably going to be the extent of this. I really can't see anything anymore. At least we're doing lime. You'll be able to see the white from the lime pretty easily, I think. So we'll do the lime, and uh, we'll finish whatever cultivation's left. We'll finish whatever harvesting we have left. All of that in the next episode. When it hits 1700 here, we'll uh, see how much we got from the first load of silage, whatever it completed in that. And then uh, we may have to do this again once we cultivate it, but we'll at least do this portion of it. That has already been done. Once it hits 17, gang, we're just going to uh, speed up time, see what we get, and then probably sell the harvester and uh, upgrade it, as long as we get as much as I'm thinking we're going to get from the silage. Hopefully we do. We need about... I mean, we could use the header we have on this one now uh, and just upgrade the harvester for now, but, I mean, we're going to need around 200 grand to buy it. And then you need another, what, 15, I think it was, for the, the drill for the carrots. I'm going to try to finish this really quick. Uh-oh, we're going to fly into the water. Oh, there we go. Woo, that was a close one. We are sliding all over the place, gang. So if we do, if we do too much lime here, I'm not even going to know where I need to cultivate versus not. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this really quick. probably do I've done this previously is when we flip over the time here at 17 like I said we'll speed it up a little bit but we'll leave the uh, workers doing their thing and let them finish all this off camera and then uh, we'll see where we're at when it gets to be the next episode
All right, we went ahead and hit that headland around real quick, put it back on the worker. We don't need to. I didn't think we would, but, you know, I, sometimes the game is weirder than you think it's going to be. Good enough for me. Let's not go to 100% so we don't do massive wheelies. Uh, the part that I did hit with the lime, and then I just went ahead and cultivated it, it still says it doesn't need lime, which I kind of thought that was going to be the case, but you just never know. You just never know, man. So we'll get this done really quick, and uh, we'll throw a roller on the work for the worker to do the rolling. And this way, we'll get a really good yield for the carrots. Or Fiat spraying you. I need more. Damn, I thought I was gonna make it. Let's go unload this real quick. We got three minutes. When that three minute clock hits, I'm telling you, we're speeding up time and then we'll let the rest of this happen off camera. Just give me enough in the first silage to buy the harvester. That would be amazing if that happens. Should be pretty close to 70,000. It really should. Yeah, blocked by an object. I know. I'm moving it in just a second. Good. Good, good, good. All right, 190,000. It just flipped over. 190,000 is pretty good, gang. That's pretty daggone good. All right, I think we hit everything, but uh, I'm going to... Smack this little corner right here just in case. Perfect. Good enough for me. Let's go put this away. Put a roller on this one. Get him rolling this field. And then uh, it'll be all prepped and ready to go for the carrots. And we can take a look at potentially buying the harvester now. Does mean having to go and sell the one we have out in the field right now. Come on. There you go. Just want, not wanting to flip into gear for a second. Need to start upgrading some of our equipment. We need to get a bigger roller and all that stuff too, but harvester is the first thing. Harvesting, harvesting just takes so long. There we go. Perfect. We're going to just call that there on this one, and let's just see, uh... Let's let it unload there, and let's see 
what we're dealing with here. So the harvester I want, which I don't remember if I showed you guys or not, but it's this one right here, the Mega 203 to 204. 170 to 200 horsepower. It's got 6,200 liters of space in there. Uh, any of the other ones, they're just a little bit too high, I think, right now. I mean, I would like to potentially get one of the other ones, but like this one, 196 is a potential, but um, 196 gives you 6,300 liters anyway, so and it's 195 grand, so that just doesn't make sense. We've got these other John Deere's out here we could potentially get, um, but again, they're not as good as that one, I don't think. So that's the one we're going to go with. We're going to go with that class. The Mego 203-204. 200 horsepower. Exactly 200 horsepower. We'll put some Michelins on there. I like Michelin. I don't know why I always go for Michelins, but I do. Uh, this is only 85000 We definitely can buy this right now before even selling the other harvester. So we're going to do it. And we actually have a, a window, too. We're not out in the open air breathing everything in. Wide tires are 1500 or more. We'll just go standard. Cabin old, new. What's the version? Oh. Well, the old's fine with me. Beacon lights. We do want uh, beacon lights. 200 bucks. It's not bad. We'll do that. Grain tank flaps. I don't know what that really... I guess it just gives you a, 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 a blocker or whatever. I don't need that. Back stickers, no. Real axle... Bigger. Ooh. You want them to be smaller or bigger? We'll make them bigger. Spreader. Yeah, we'll get a spreader. GPS. I don't care about the GPS. Chassis color. Ah. I like that dark gray. Let's do that. Main color. Weathered green or regular green. Just regular green. Cabin color. We'll go with that. No license plate. Perfect. That's our, that's our harvester, gang. That's going to be the harvester for probably the rest of the series. You can't get any bigger than that. 200 horsepower. Unless something else new comes out on Mod Hub between now and the end of the series. Which is going to be a while. Okay, we bought it. Now, we've got $103,000 to work with. We can get the 10.8 meter one. I don't think we're going to need any bigger than 10.8. I really don't. Um, but we'll, we'll peek. We'll take a peek. 90 grand for 13.8 meters. <laughs> Ooh, you want to talk about a massive one. And it looks like you can just pull that. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe you can't. I was going to say, it looks like maybe you could potentially just pull it behind it without having to get a... Like these have the, the ability to pull it directly. This one might not be. 90 grand. Ah, let's do it. Why not? Okay, so now that we bought that, I need to see how long, how much it's going to cost for us to get a trailer. 12 grand. We have just enough to do it. Literally just enough. We probably could sell the other... One that we have for um, our swather, more than likely. I don't think we need two. I think the swather could still, you could still put it on this. It'd be a very long trailer for it, but it, I think you could still do it. Um, well, we can change the colors on this. We can do all kinds of stuff on this. We can have fun with this thing. Where's my. It's all vulture. Where's the uh, cloth? They don't have a cloth green on here? Hmm. No cloth green. I guess we'll just go the bright line. It's close enough. There's cloth. Why did it not uh, have it there? Oh, it's right here. Blind. All right, we got it. Gotta go black rims, baby. Black, baby. I shouldn't even be doing anything black because of that black car. Screw that car. <laughs> All right. 12 grand. We're buying it. We were able to buy all of that without even having to sell our harvester. So we're gonna make a pretty penny when we turn this in. So, gang, we're gonna leave that episode there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a little bit of a mess of an episode. I'm sorry, I apologize. Um, but I think 
we have a plan moving forward, right? We can do carrots in the next episode. That is going to be ready to go. So thanks so much for watching, gang. Like, subscribe if you're new. It's free. Helps me a ton. Uh, subscribe to my other channel if you haven't done so. And uh, until January, a very, 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 very busy January, which probably will snow again. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next episode.